In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome flickering effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So as you can see, we've got some footage inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we first just want to focus on something that we want to do this effect to. So my target in this video is going to be this taxi that he's driving across. So essentially at this moment in time, I want a clone of this taxi to appear over on the right. And I just want that to flicker for a few frames. So in order to do that, we first just want to make a mask of this taxi. So we're just going to copy that footage. So I'm going to go Command C, move over and go Command V. So that is on Mac. If you're on Windows, that is Control C, Control V. Then we're just going to move that footage over onto video layer two. We'll scroll through to the point where that taxi appears. And then roughly maybe a third of the way through the frame, I'm just going to go to the effect controls, opacity, free draw bezier, and draw a mask around this layer like this. Then I'm just going to create a brand new keyframe on mask path at that point. And then I'll press C on the keyboard to load the razor tool. Or alternatively, I can just select that over here, make a cut there and delete the first part of that footage. So make sure you've got a new keyframe selected here and then we're just going to move across and we'll update the mask to follow that car. Then we'll move across again, update that mask again, move across again, update that mask and basically just have this mask following this object or this subject out of the frame. There we go. Now you just want to scroll back through and go in between those keyframes. So we've made a few keyframes. Now we just want to go in between them and just update that mask if it needs updating. So at this point, you can see it's getting close to that edge. So I'm just going to move that over. And now when we scrub through, you can see that mask is now following that van. And now when we scroll through, you can see that mask is now following that taxi. So at this point in time, we can just nudge this footage over to the right. As you can see, this is our original footage layer, and then this is the clone layer. So that just appears there. But if we move this back in time over to here, you can see we get that just appearing up here. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually extend this footage backwards. So we'll extend this backwards, and then we'll just update the mask so that it follows the taxi again like this. And this means you could actually just have this really cool looping clone effect like this. So if we just copy a few of these copied layers in, so I go Command C, Command V, copy a few of these layers in, you can see you're going to get a few clones of this taxi. So we had one taxi. Now we've got three taxis like this. So we could just keep repeating that over and over again. So Command C, Command V, move this in. And you're just going to get this really cool effect. The problem is, though, you're going to catch it on the left and you'll see it in a few different instances. The mask that I drew for this example, because I'm just focusing on that flickering effect for now, the mask in this example is too large. It's not following the exact outline of the van. It's just all the way over here. And that means it's cutting out this person in the background. So when we play this back, you can see she flickers over there a few times, which does not look great. So in order to fix that, I just have to go in and make sure that mask was touching the outside of the van rather than having this big overspill area. But that's a really cool option to explore in this example. If you wanted as well, see this motorbike in the foreground, you could actually mask that motorbike out and place that on top of this layer so that you get this object moving in front of those clones. And that will make that look a bit more believable. I'll show you how to do that now, actually, before we carry on with this effect. So you just want to scrub through to that point. We'll make a cut there or we'll scroll across. Then we'll make a cut there and we'll just copy that part of the footage. Then we'll just move that back to video layer two on top of where it came from. And we'll just create a mask around this layer. And this mask is going to need to be quite tight so that it doesn't have a problem with those taxis behind it. So I'm just going to create a brand new keyframe there. We'll move across, move that mask to follow, move across again move that mask to follow and then just keep repeating this process until you've got this really nice mask following the scooter out of the frame. And then we just need to go back to the beginning, move that mask over to the right. 
if we move this layer over to the right, so we take it off anything, you can see that we've got the subject now on their own layer on a transparent background. So that means if we drop this footage on the top and we play this back, you can see that is now going to overlap these clones and therefore that's going to make that more believable. As you can see that the edge of this is just a bit too harsh, so we're just going to increase the mask feathering, increase the mask expansion a little. And providing that your mask is perfect, then that should now look great. My example was a little bit messy, but you can clean that up and that will really help to blend this cloning effect in. Of course, though, that was not the objective of this tutorial. The objective of this tutorial is to create a really cool flickering effect. So we'll delete the bike and I'm just going to delete these other taxi layers for now. So I'm just going to focus on this one taxi layer. So I want it to flicker at this moment in time here. So around here. So I'm just going to zoom in to that layer, that copied layer. We'll press C on the keyboard and then we'll move one frame over, make a cut, one frame over, make a cut. And just keep repeating this process until you've got maybe 10 individual clips. Then we'll delete the first part of that, the last part of that, and delete every other video there. So now you get this really cool flickering effect like this. And of course, if you wanted to as well, you could create a clean plate from here. So let's go through to a point in the video where there's nothing there. So that was around here. I'm just going to press C on the keyboard to make a cut. I'm going to copy this part of the footage. We'll right click and we'll make the speed of this zero. So we're just going to freeze frame this section. Then I'm just going to drop this onto video layer three above this part here, above this flickering layer. And then I'm just going to draw a mask around this left side of the frame, making sure that a screenshotted layer is selected. I'm just going to draw this mask here. And now when this taxi is here, I want this clean plate here to appear above the taxi. So we're just going to make those cuts above this layer. We'll delete all the other clips that we don't need so those middle clips. And now when we play this back, you can see it's going to flicker between there and there. Of course, this doesn't have to be one frame long. You can make this two frame longs as well. So now when we play that back, you can see that's a bit less aggressive. And of course, you could just have it maybe happen once or twice. But the options are endless with this flickering effect. The flickering effect is a really great way of adding character or style into a music video or a travel edit. It doesn't have to be a taxi traveling across the frame. Maybe you could have somebody in front of the camera flickering between foreground and background, or maybe something in the background is moving. There's a whole world of options with this flickering effect, but that is the technique that you would need to follow in order to create that flicker effect. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.